Introduction to Undead Gods www.zhaoshuyuan.com The old world has ushered in great changes, and humanity has fallen into the apocalypse. The eight immortals, the twenty-eight constellations, the three altars of the sea-meeting god, and the clear source mysterious Tao True Lord. Countless ancient gods are clearly visible in the world. Summing obtained the fragments of the ancient tomb key and thought he could climb the peak with it, but unexpectedly, the life and death dependent Taoist couple stabbed him in the heart with a knife https forward slash forward slash www.zayashuan.com. Chapter 1 Rebirth You are listening at novelfull.audio. Yen Xiaoyun Are you really killing me? In the dormitory, Su Ming suddenly woke up from the bed, with sweat on his forehead. His face was bulging with veins, and his eyes were mixed with anger, pain, disappointment he never expected that the woman he loved with all his might, including his life, would accidentally stab him in the heart with a knife. Her calm and indifferent gaze was like slaughtering a pig. For years of college romance and ten years of life and death dependence in the new world have resulted in such an ending. All of this is nothing more than a fragment of an ancient tomb key. Su Ming was panting heavily, his expression becoming increasingly fierce, forming a sharp contrast with his delicate face. At that moment, a corner of his eye caught sight of himself in the mirror on the wall beside the bed. My face. Why is it so young? Su Ming was greatly shocked. After ten years of war, his face was already covered in wind and frost. After a brief moment of confusion, a spiritual light flashed through my mind. Su Ming looked around and saw the unfamiliar and familiar decorations in the university dormitory, creating a strong sense of discord. He quickly looked at the bedside and actually found a mobile phone. Shouldn't these technological products have been destroyed as early as ten years ago? He furrowed his brow, opened his phone, and looked at the time on it. On June 1, 2025, at 2.01 p.m. Su Ming will never forget this time. Half an hour later, the world will usher in tremendous changes. After a global bell rang, the blue star was like a crumpled and folded paper ball, with numerous hidden spaces fully unfolded, growing many times larger. People also realize that the ancient myths passed down are true, and countless relics of gods are presented here in the eyes of the world. Famous deities such as the Eight Immortals and the Twenty-Eight Constellations, as well as those who defeated the Buddha and the Four Imperial Sovereigns, have all emerged in the world over time while inheriting the cave. After experiencing the initial panic and struggle, people adapted to the new world and began to compete for immortality, plunder inheritance, and embark on the path of cultivation. Everything is completely overturned. Su Ming and Yen Xiaoyun struggled to survive in a chaotic world and gradually grew up. Finally, by chance, they obtained a fragment of an ancient tomb key in a ruins cave. Pangu is a powerful deity, recognized as the ruler of the world and the strongest deity. Su Ming originally thought that the two could use this to challenge a higher realm and truly become a free couple. Unfortunately, under the temptation of the strongest divine inheritance, Yan Xiaoyun disregarded his past love and killed Su Ming with a single blow, crushing the last bit of tenderness in his heart. I didn't survive, but was killed by Yan Xiaoyun and traveled back ten years. Su Ming's eyes were filled with suspicion. After a moment of silence, he took a deep breath and accepted reality. A fierce light flashed through his eyes. In my previous life, in order to protect Yan Xiaoyun, I not only missed the development of the first stage of world upheaval, which resulted in my realm falling behind others, but also often missed many opportunities in the future due to her cowardly personality. In the end, I reluctantly fell into the position of one of the 70.2 evil spirits, occupying the mountains as the king. One god, two saints, four symbols, eight extremes, twelve heavenly kings, thirty-six heavenly gang, seventy-two earthly sha. In the turbulent times of the previous life, there were over a hundred strong men in the world, and my ranking is considered the bottom. But in this life, I will not be affected by any emotions, cut off love and righteousness, everything is just for climbing the highest peak of the immortal path. 
With the blessing of memories from my previous life, the strongest name of God in this world is none other than me. Those who stop me will die. Su Ming's eyes were filled with murderous intent, and he slapped the table with a palm. Ha! Huh. Su Ming suddenly noticed a tactile abnormality in his hand, and the palm of his right hand was slightly feverish. He raised his hand and looked for a moment, then his face burst with ecstasy. I saw a black irregular fragment the size of a nail cap embedded in the palm of his right hand, with the edge fused with flesh and blood, as if growing together. The familiar material and shape have already been deeply engraved in his mind and will never be forgotten. Pan Gu Tum Ki fragment, surprisingly traveled back with me. Joyful but in the blink of an eye, Su Ming's eyebrows slowly furrowed. But, this key fragment is in my hands. Will there still be a key fragment in that relic cave in this lifetime? The appearance of this fragment disrupted Su Ming's plan. He was originally planning to go to the school playground, where there is a ruins cave that will appear in the first world cataclysm. He can take this as the first step on the path of immortality. But now the appearance of fragments has given him a different idea. The first stage of the world's upheaval will only result in cave ruins at the level of qi refining, and the ruins where the fragments are located will be at the level of qi refining, so they will soon appear, just under the cliff, with no one stepping on them. The ruins cave where the fragments are located, although constantly away from the school, has not extended its surface even before the world's great changes have occurred. If you drive, it only takes about 10 minutes to reach it. First, get a car, get some supplies, and then rush over. Su Ming immediately made up his mind that when it comes to the strongest inheritance, he must go and investigate. Even if things go wrong, it is still a ruins cave, not inferior to the school playground, and there is not much loss for him. The reason for choosing a school at the beginning is twofold. Firstly, it is close and convenient to operate, secondly, the school has a cafeteria and supermarket, with abundant resources. In the early stages of world change, when practitioners have not yet reached the valley, it is the best choice, thirdly, the school has a large number of people, and the cultivation resources will also be more abundant Su Ming sneered and remembered the ugly faces of people from previous lives. Just as he was leaving, the exclusive phone ringtone suddenly rang. Summing picked up his phone and saw that the incoming call was displayed as, Baby. ZhaoZhuyuan.com This is the note he set for Yen Xiaoyun. Originally, when he saw this call, he felt a surge of emotion, but now he let out a cold snort and casually fell to the ground. With a click, the phone suddenly stopped ringing. I remember, it was during this time in my previous life when I went shopping with Yen Xiaoyun. However, the world suddenly changed and we were trapped in a shop. I wanted to go out and investigate the situation, but Yen Xiaoyun was afraid that he wouldn't let me go out. Although we struggled to catch our breath with the leftover food in the shop, we still missed the best time to practice. It was really ridiculous. Su Ming sneered and stepped out of the dormitory. On the other side, in the shopping mall not far from the school, Yen Xiaoyun, who looked pure and beautiful, frowned and listened to the hang-up prompt on her phone. What's wrong, Xiaoyun? Su Ming didn't answer your phone. Zeng Lan, a good friend on the side, was puzzled and said. It's not that I didn't answer, I hung up, Yen Xiaoyun said displeased. What? So Su Ming hung up on your phone. The sun is coming out from the west. Zeng Lan looked at her with an incredulous expression on her face. Forget it, let's leave him alone. You can accompany me shopping, said Yen Xiaoyun. As he spoke, he grabbed Zeng Lan's hand. Hee hee, I was thinking about not using the light bulb. I'll leave as soon as he comes, Zeng Lan smiled. Then her eyes rolled and she warned, however, Xiaoyun, my sisters kindly reminded you that although Su Ming was so kind to you before, he may not be very good in the future. If you hang up your phone this time and dare to slap you next time, Su Ming's family will have no money or power, and you two will definitely not be happy in the future. You will waste your youth in vain, but there is no place to reason. By the way, do you remember my friend last time? 
Let me tell you, his family is already rich. Chapter 2 Robbery You are listening at NovelFull.audio At school, as soon as Su Ming came downstairs, he met a man in short sleeves with a slightly dark skin. Eh. Ah Ming, why are you still at school? Didn't you say you're going shopping with Yen Xiaoyun this afternoon? The man exclaimed in surprise. Suming looked at the man, his cold eyebrows slightly softened. Huzi, seeing you is also a wish for me, he smiled. Chen Hu was his childhood friend. The two families lived across the street and grew up together. They entered the same school and had a very close relationship. In his previous life, Chen Hu overcame all difficulties and rushed to the mall to rescue Su Ming and Yen Xiaoyun when they were running out of ammunition and food, while also providing them with protection and helping them embark on the path of cultivation. Unfortunately, there was an enemy attack later, and Su Ming was restrained. In order to protect Yen Xiaoyun, Chen Hu blocked a move with his body and died. Chen Hu's friendship with me can help me accomplish many things in the early stage. When I reach the foundation of my promotion, I can use secret methods to control his mind and prevent him from developing rebellious intentions. Su Ming, who was reborn, always engraved the image of Yen Xiaoyun stabbing her back in his heart, and would no longer trust any friendship. Be careful in everything. Aiming, why are you speaking so strangely? Chen who looked at him strangely. Huzi, time is running out. I'll just ask you, do you believe me? Su Ming asked. Chen Hu rubbed his head and realized that Su Ming today was very different, but he couldn't pinpoint the problem. But looking at Su Ming's obviously impatient expression, he immediately replied, Of course I believe you, what's our relationship? But you have to tell me what happened, right? Su Ming nodded, but did not answer. Instead, he pulled Chen Hu towards the supermarket. As soon as the two of them entered the supermarket, Su Ming instructed, you can go and get some simple high-calorie foods, such as biscuits and canned meat, at least for seven days. As he spoke, he walked towards the nearby shelf, where many mineral water bottles were placed. Chen Hu hesitated to speak, but due to the deep emotional connection between the two and Su Ming's rigorous style over the years, he decided to take something first and then let Su Ming explain it clearly. After settling the account, Su Ming asked the clerk to help move out, and the clerk readily agreed. Chen Hu saw the situation and quickly whispered, Amin, life is running out of time. Buying so many things at once. I see you don't even have much money on your meal card. Besides, why did you buy a baseball bat? However, Su Ming remained silent and led the salesperson forward, all the way to an old Ford sedan. Just leave it here, said Suming. The shop assistant put down the things and left with a smile. Ha! Huh. Isn't this our supervisor's car? Oh, I understand. You bought it for the supervisor, right? Chen Hu nodded arrogantly. Then, with a hint of joy, he said, All right, Amin, I finally got the hang of it. I found out that I was helping the guide with things, so I said, With your previous angry nature, the road ahead is really difficult. It happens that we are about to graduate and look for a job. Wait, what are you doing with your baseball bat? Without saying a word, Su Ming smashed the baseball bat in Chen Hu's trembling and foolish gaze. Click. After a crisp sound, the driver's cabin window glass shattered. Su Ming reached into the driver's cab, unlocked the car, and then groped under the steering wheel like a skilled car dealer. A series of abnormal behaviors stunned the people around them. Some of them retreated away, afraid of getting into trouble, while others secretly raised their phones and recorded the moment, but no one came forward to stop them. Aiming, are you crazy? Chen Hu grabbed Su Ming's arm and looked at him with an incredulous expression on his face. Su Ming turned his head, his eyes gleaming with ferocity, which frightened Chen Hu. He unconsciously let go of his hand and took two steps back. Chen Hu, get your things onto the car. After speaking, he continued to tinker with the driver's seat without looking at Chen Hu again. 
Chen Hu remained silent for a moment before moving his belongings onto the car. From childhood to adulthood, every time Su Ming called him by his full name was an undeniable thing, so Chen Hu's habitual thinking, without much thought, did so. Soon, Su Ming started the car, and Chen Hu also carried all the items onto the car, with the trunk and rear seats almost full. At this moment, a group of people rushed over and headed straight for the car's location. As the leader, he has a big belly and a worried expression on his face. Summing, you bastard, you're really giving me a bad face. How dare you smash my car? Get off me now. Wang Xinghua shouted loudly. But Su Ming just sneered at him and drove away. A few people chased after the car exhaust for a while, then came to a stop panting heavily. Damn it! Bastard, I want to give you a demerit, a major one, no, I want to drop you out of school. Wang Xinghua shouted out of breath, his legs trembling and he couldn't even stand steadily. At this moment, a young man hurriedly walked over and helped Wang Xinghua. Director, don't worry, I have already reported your license plate number to the police. He can't run far from Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, said the young man. Wang Xinghua glanced at him and said, Qing Lin, you have to have a fast brain. Lu Qinglin's eyes lit up and he smiled, saying, Director, you were just angry with him. I didn't realize this for a while. Please calm down and don't let him ruin your body just because he's a bad person. It's not worth it. Wang Xinghua nodded slightly, his breath becoming smoother. But guide, this matter is also up to me, Lu Qinglin frowned and his face looked ugly. Hmm. What does this matter have to do with you? Wang Xinghua asked in confusion. As the president of the student union and also the monitor of Su Ming's class, I usually only focus on their studies, but forget to provide them with ideological education. Especially for Su Ming, I still don't have enough ideological education for him, so the main responsibility for this incident can be said to be on me. Lu Qinglin looked guilty and regretful. Upon hearing this, Wang Xinghua couldn't help but let out a long sigh and reached out to pat Lu Qinglin's shoulder, comforting him, saying, Qinglin, where can I blame you for this? You have done very well, you can be said to be the best student I have ever led. Su Ming, like a prick, is a dangerous person who causes trouble all day long. I think ideological education is no longer useful, and it should be handed over to the law for strict discipline. Wang Xinghua had resentment in his eyes, while Lu Qinglin secretly rejoiced. For the sake of Yan Xiaoyun, he has used many methods to trouble Su Ming in recent years, but the results have not been significant. Now that this incident has occurred, as long as the victim, the guide, does not let go or plead, it can be clearly classified as robbery. However, as long as the case is memorized, Su Ming's future life can be said to be bleak. At that time, can Yen Xiaoyun not come with me? Lu Qinglin sneered in his heart, with a look of self-blame and regret still on his face. Chapter 3, Level 1 World Cataclysm You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the road, an old Ford sedan was speeding through like no one else, showing no concern for driving safety, causing a lot of criticism from drivers and pedestrians. In the car, Su Ming's face was indifferent, as if everything that had just happened had nothing to do with him. And Chen who sat in the passenger seat, silent for a long time before speaking dryly. Why? Why are you doing this? This is illegal, do you know? You have been studying hard until now, and finally you are about to graduate. You will form a new family with Yen Xiaoyun and live a happy life together. But. What will you do in the future like this? Chen Hu shouted loudly, his eyes bloodshot. There's no future left, Su Ming whispered. What are you saying? Chen Hu was stunned. The world is about to undergo tremendous changes, and everything you imagine will no longer exist, said Su Ming. Chen Hu looked at Su Ming in disbelief and laughed back angrily. He lost his voice and said, You're really crazy. For this reason, 
why do I trust you so much and do these things with you? Stop the car, let's turn ourselves in. Before the situation escalates, as long as you sincerely admit your mistake, there is still a chance. Chen Hu said, thinking that he was mentally deranged and trying to stop his illegal behavior, but Su Ming completely ignored it. Chen Hu was in a hurry and went to grab the steering wheel. At this moment, Su Ming suddenly stared fiercely at him, like a hungry wolf devouring people. If you hinder me again, I'll kill you. The cruel words floated lightly in Su Ming's mouth, causing Chen Hu's body to tremble. He could hear the seriousness of Su Ming's words and also feel his indifference to human life. He knew that if he did it again, Su Ming would really kill him. He couldn't understand why his twenty-year-old good brother was so indifferent to human life, and even more so, why he said such things to himself. Chen Hu fell silent and stopped speaking. Suming ignored him and drove the car quickly towards the destination in his memory. Not long after, the two of them left the main road and entered a small path, heading towards a barren mountain. Arriving at a flat spot on the mountaintop, Su Ming's right palm was scorching hot, so he stopped the car. He glanced at the time. On June 1, 2025, at 2.29 p.m. It's not too late, he breathed a long sigh of relief, then opened the car door and walked down. Chen Hu's face showed confusion and he also got off the car. At this moment, a series of alarm bells suddenly came from not far away, getting closer and closer to the two of them. Chen Hu's face changed and he quickly said, Ah Ming. The sheriff is here, what do you plan to do? Su Ming's lips curled and his face showed disdain. He didn't respond and his eyes were fixed on the empty space in front of him. At this moment, a melodious bell rang from the bottom of everyone's heart around the world. Chen Hu's face changed, and he looked around but couldn't find the source of the bell. Hu Zi, Suming looked at him with an indescribable expression on his face. Get ready to welcome the new world. In the next moment, if there is a wandering dragon rolling and violently undulating underground. Chen Hu couldn't control his body at all and fell to the ground, looking at Su Ming in terror. Amin. There's an earthquake, get down, he shouted loudly. But Su Ming didn't react, instead he turned his back to him and opened his arms. Huzi, keep an eye on this car and wait for me to come back. What are you talking about? Get down quickly. Chen Hu said anxiously. At this moment, the earthquake intensified again, and countless cracks appeared on the earth, like spider webs, distributed vertically and horizontally. At the same time, the ground seemed to be stretched, and the cracks continued to expand, while under most of the cracks, new land was stretched out. It's like the ground is a crumpled and folded paper ball, and after stretching, many hidden positions are fully unfolded. The newly raised ground is indistinguishable from the old ground, as if it was originally one entity. The only difference may be that the vegetation on the new ground is relatively more lush, and that's all. However, there are still some cracks that have not stretched out of the new ground, but have risen or sunken on the ground, forming cliffs and valleys. At this moment, Suming stood on the edge of a cliff, and taking a step forward was the end of a broken bone and tendon. At this moment, the earthquake has not yet stopped, and even its power has become even greater. The figures of the two have become farther and farther away due to the stretching of the ground. Chen who lay on the ground, looking at everything in shock, trembling all over and afraid to make any movements. When he saw Su Ming getting further and further away from him, his pupils contracted and he exclaimed in fear, Ah Ming! Be careful! In the distance, Su Ming seemed to hear Chen Hu's shout. He turned his head and smiled, then jumped down without hesitation. No. Chen Hu cried out in pain, and as soon as he got up, he fell again due to the violent shaking of the ground. He looked at Su Ming who had disappeared, his eyes moist. Under the sadness, his mind suddenly became clear, recalling Su Ming's previous abnormal actions and some warnings. Did Aiming have anticipated all of this? Chen Hu couldn't help but think of it in his heart. But looking at this scene that seemed like a heavenly punishment, 
he couldn't imagine it was done by human labor. But how did Su Ming, an ordinary student, anticipate such a terrifying natural disaster? And if expected, why not stay away from here and instead dive in? At this moment, Chen Hu thought that the earthquake was only happening here. What he didn't expect was that similar scenes were constantly happening throughout the world. And because it is located in a barren mountain with few human footprints, and there are no buildings or similar structures, the damage caused by earthquakes is not significant. On the other hand, in the city, there are countless deaths and injuries, which is a purgatory. Ah Ming, maybe he's not dead. He asked me to take care of the car and food, so I'll keep an eye on it and wait for him to come back. Chen Hu understood this and stabilized his mind. He tightly gripped the ground with both hands, lowered his head, minimizing damage, and prayed that cracks would not form under his feet. There is really not much he can do about such natural disasters. After an unknown amount of time, every minute and second of agony, Chen Hu felt the frequency of ground vibrations decreasing until they disappeared. He just lifted his head and looked around with lingering fear, while slowly getting up. The scene in front of us is vastly different. The originally small mountain has now been raised countless times, and many peaks have split apart. The flat ground I was in also expanded a lot. The old sedan, which was far away from Chen Hu at this moment, was almost fading out of sight. Aiming, can he still find me? Chen Hu couldn't help but worry. At this point, he took out his phone and found that there was no signal and the battery was low. Let's go find the sedan first, he thought to himself. As soon as he was about to set off, a strange sound came from his ear that seemed to be elusive. He was mentally tense and unconsciously swallowed saliva. Chapter 4 Inheritance You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Under the cliff, at a position of over 10 meters. Su Ming climbed onto the cliff and moved towards a high gap. Not long after, he grabbed the edge of the gap, then clenched his teeth, exerted force on his hands, and used his entire body to penetrate into the gap. Hu Su Ming lay back in the open mouth, taking a long breath and taking a brief rest. With his current mortal body, it still takes a lot of effort to do such sports. Suddenly, Su Ming's eyes sparkled with determination. Finally arrived. After the world's great changes, spiritual energy began to revive. The familiar aura lingered around, causing Su Ming's face to blush abnormally and his body to tremble slightly. Not only because of excitement, but also because of the poisonous nature of spiritual energy on this mortal body. Chen Hu's talent is not low. He was not poisoned by spiritual energy in his previous life, and there is no one here, so there won't be such a thing appearing. His life is temporarily at ease. Su Ming glanced at the top of the cliff and got up to walk towards the inside of the gap. The interior space of the opening is extremely narrow, barely passing through an adult. After walking for about 20 meters, Su Ming was blocked by a stone wall on his way. Dong Dong, Su Ming reached out and tapped on the stone wall, which made a hollow sound. A smile appeared on his face. Exactly the same as I did in the last life, with a thin stone wall, which preserved this cave, a relic of the Qi training period, so that I had the chance to obtain the key fragments of ancient tomb pan. Summing felt the increasing heat emanating from the black fragment in the palm of his right hand. Come on. He took a deep breath, then clenched his fist and smashed it onto the stone wall. Dong, fragments fell off the stone wall, but it remained intact. Summing was not discouraged either. Although the stone walls here were light and thin, they were not easily shattered by his mortal body. Ignoring the pain in his hands, Su Ming continued to punch the stone wall with his fists, until his hands were bleeding profusely, and only then did a small crack appear on the wall. Seeing the crack, Su Ming's mouth curled slightly, and then continued to attack the stone wall until his palms were bloody and his bones were exposed. His efforts were not in vain, and the cracks on the surface of the stone wall were increasing. Finally, after the last punch was fired. Click. 
The stone wall seemed to have reached a limit, with surface cracks and spider webs rapidly expanding, then shattering and collapsing with a loud bang, revealing the narrow, dark passages inside. Su Ming took out a lighter and a candle from his pocket, lit them, and walked inside with the light. Walking for over ten meters, the passage suddenly became clear, and ahead was an open mountain cave. There is only one stone table in the cave, on which three things are placed, and nothing else. Su Ming glanced at the stone table and ignored it, turning his head to look aside. He followed his memory and walked quickly to a ground, then started working with both hands and quickly dug into the ground. Quickly, he dug out a small arm-long pit, and below the pit, a square box appeared in view. Seeing the box, Su Ming's eyes were filled with excitement. In the previous life, I found a fragment of an ancient tomb key from this box. He looked at the black fragment in the palm of his right hand, and at this moment, the temperature coming from it was getting higher and even burning his hand. Su Ming was a bit hesitant to open the box. On the one hand, he was afraid that the box would be empty, which would result in no gains on this trip. On the other hand, he was even more afraid that there would be fragments inside the box, which would with a nervous heart, Su Ming still opened the box. This is. His pupils contracted, his face full of disbelief. Because of a black irregular fragment, lying quietly in the box at this moment. Looking at the fragments, Su Ming's palms trembled slightly. He took out the fragments and carefully examined them, his eyes shining brightly. No. There is a difference in the shape of the two fragments. He held the fragment in the box in his left hand, comparing it to the fragment in the palm of his right hand. Although the two are roughly the same, there are still subtle differences. Summing was puzzled by the comparison, and when he was about to explore, he only felt a blur in his consciousness. Although it was only for a moment, when he regained consciousness, he found himself stacking two fragments together. Then a black light suddenly appeared in the palm of his right hand, and the two fragments merged together, transforming into a larger fragment. At the same time, a wave of decadent sounds echoed through Su Ming's mind, not knowing where it came from. His eyes turned white, and his consciousness was instantly pulled to a pitch-black spot. He wandered around, shouting loudly, but couldn't even hear his own voice. There is no existence here, including space and time, like chaos. Summing doesn't know how long he has been wandering here, a thousand years. Ten thousand years. One hundred thousand years. But one thing is certain, his consciousness is about to collapse and dissipate. But just a second before it dissipated, a brilliant star suddenly appeared before his eyes, followed by the second, third until the thirty-sixth star lit up. Subsequently, the stars echoed with each other, like light linking them together, forming a beautiful and mysterious picture. Is this human body? Su Ming was dazzled and his consciousness shattered, but he vaguely felt that the painting had constructed a human figure, unconsciously attracting his attention and becoming addicted. ZhaoZhuyuan.com Once the humanoid pattern is constructed, movement begins. It was as if a giant was stretching its body, and then the stars shone brightly, illuminating all directions. Every shining star pierced through different positions of Su Ming's consciousness, leaving behind a hole that burned an invisible flame. He felt like he was going to be completely annihilated by this glory, with all his wounds and holes. However, to his surprise, Su Ming did not lose consciousness and dissipated here until the last glimmer of brilliance penetrated. He looked at the 360 burning holes around him, and compared them to the huge stars in the distance. Apart from their size, there seemed to be no difference between the two. Is this inheritance? Before Su Ming could think much, the distant stars would change again. I saw a humanoid figure constructed by the stars, holding hands as if holding onto something, and then I saw the stars fiercely self-igniting. A desolate and ancient aura spreads to all directions. As soon as Su Ming's consciousness came into contact with this breath, it felt that his whole body began to rapidly decay, just like the torrent of time passing by. But in the blink of an eye, he dissipated completely. 
At the last moment of consciousness's disappearance, he seemed to hear an unreal echo. Open. Heaven. Open. Earth. Ah. Su Ming suddenly woke up, his forehead full of sweat, and his eyes filled with vicissitudes and exhaustion. Looking at the cave reflected by the candlelight in front of him, his thoughts gradually became clear. Is everything just now false? Am I still alive? Although consciousness has spent countless years in the darkness, real time has not passed long because only a small part of the candle on the side has been burned. Su Ming noticed this and his mind slowly stabilized. Chapter 5 Pangu Xian Gong You are listening at NovelFull.audio Where did my consciousness go just now? Su Ming pondered. Then he remembered the dazzling stars in the sky. The fusion of two fragments of ancient tomb keys. The humanoid giant. Created the world, could it be? Su Ming's eyes lit up with a brilliant light. Is it the Pangu tradition? Are the stars all over the sky the acupoints of the human body? He quickly took off his shirt and patrolled his body based on memories in his mind. I quickly remembered the locations where the starlight pierced through, where hidden orifices were located. This is a mystical skill of becoming a saint in the flesh. I remember one of the eight extremes in the previous life practiced the eight nine Xian Gong, which came from the ruins of the cave where Do defeated the Buddha. It can be considered the strongest physical Xian Gong in the world. That person, relying on his physical body, ran rampant in the world and was invincible, but he also offended many people as a result, ultimately leading to a siege and melee. As for how many people are due to hatred, and how many people are due to the world's first physical body mystical skill, I don't know. But that's not important. What's important is that I tried my best that time, but I couldn't even hurt a single strand of his hair. Summing thought of the battle in his past life and shook his head helplessly. Although he is listed as one of the 70.2 earth demons, there is still a huge gap in combat power between the earth demons, let alone the eight extremes. It can be considered as a dimensionality reduction strike. But then he became excited again. Because he remembered that the number of acupoints for the cultivation of that mysterious skill was 8 or 9, only 70.2. However, the Xian Gong passed down by Pangu has a total of 360 acupoints in the Great Zhou Dynasty. Undoubtedly, I am the strongest god Pangu. With this physical and mystical skill inheritance alone, I am qualified to step into the ranks of the strongest. Summing looked at the black fragments in his palm that had widened, and his mouth curved slightly. The inheritance of the dark space should be the biggest secret of the key fragments of the ancient tomb. Unfortunately, perhaps my consciousness is not resilient enough, or maybe my cultivation level is not enough. I can feel that there will be inheritance in that dark space, but I can't persist anymore. Su Ming showed a regretful expression. But it's okay, as long as I work hard to cultivate, I can definitely persist for even longer next time. He looked at the fragments in his palm, which were still missing, indicating that there were other fragments scattered in the world waiting for him to collect. Adjusting his mentality, Su Ming did not directly practice Xian Gong, but came to the cave stone table. There are three items on the stone table. A emerald green jade vase, a three-foot sheathed long sword, and a slightly antique jade plaque. These three things do not appear outdated, as if time has left no traces. Su Ming had doubts about this for a long time, but he couldn't find the reason. Perhaps folding space won't pass time. He shook his head, then picked up the jade plaque and put it directly into his pocket. It records a cultivation technique during the Qi refining period, which he had read in the previous life and was of little use to him. However, this jade plaque can be used to record information with divine sense, and it can also be considered a good object. The level of the equipment is divided into the divine spirit, the dharma, and the mortal. This sword is just a mortal tool, but it is a bit sharper. I'll just use it now. He picked up his long sword and carried it on his back. Then he picked up the jade bottle with a smile. 
The relics of the Qi refining period in the cave are not of great value, but this is the biggest harvest. Spiritual liquid, used for cultivation and healing, and so on, is also what I need the most. For ordinary people, the most important thing in the ruins cave is to inherit the martial arts, but for Su Ming, having experience from the previous life, the most essential thing is the martial arts. So the spiritual liquid used for cultivation and elevation is what he urgently needs. Opening the jade bottle, there is a transparent liquid inside, emitting a faint fragrance. Su Ming took a drunken sniff and then poured a drop of spiritual liquid into his mouth. Then he sat cross-legged on the ground and began practicing according to the path of Pangu Xian Gong. The spiritual liquid enters the stomach, turns into a warm current, and seeps into the heart and spleen. Su Ming's face was unusually rosy, indicating that the spiritual liquid had begun to act. He thought for a moment and guided the spiritual fluid through the veins of his memory. After an hour, it finally directed to an acupoint in his heart. That is the initial acupoint of Xian Gong. A fierce suction came from its orifice, as if it had been hungry and thirsty for countless years, and now it finally sensed the food. A drop of spiritual liquid is absorbed in just ten minutes. Ha! Huh. So fast. Su Ming opened his eyes and looked surprised. Then pour a drop of spiritual liquid into the mouth again, this time for ten minutes. It wasn't until he poured half a bottle of spiritual liquid into his mouth that a hint of satisfaction came from his orifice. Half a bottle of spiritual liquid, hasn't it filled one-tenth of the orifices yet? Summing's face turned black. He also practiced a physical body mystical skill in his previous life. Although he only had nine orifices, it was obtained at a considerable cost. And during his cultivation, only two bottles of spiritual liquid can open a hole. But according to the consumption of Pangu Xian Gong, opening a hole requires at least five bottles. According to past experience, the consumption will increase exponentially as one reaches the acupoints at the back. This Xian Gong is really a bottomless pit. Su Ming shook his head. No wonder the eight extremes who practiced the eight nine Xian Gong in the previous life were so poor that they were dying. It turned out to be this situation. That person is still specialized in physical cultivation, if I were to cultivate both qi and flesh. Su Ming's head hurt more and more as he thought about it. I need to focus on my cultivation and find the Shuyuan website www.jiaoshuyuan.com to improve myself. I can't be too distracted by resource acquisition. It's right to take Chen Hu with me. I need to quickly form a force and become a capitalist to easily obtain more resources. Su Ming thought of this and ended his practice. Pack the jade bottle and turn around to leave the cave. Then, using both hands and feet, he climbed up the cliff. At this moment, he has not opened his acupoints and is still a mortal body, just slightly stronger than before. Chen Hu leaned against the police car, his wrist handcuffed to the window, panting heavily, and his eyes looking ahead in terror. Not far in front of him were two men dressed as sheriffs. One of them was constantly moving, wearing a rainbow on his body, with a tired and puzzled face. The other had a much cleaner body, but his face was twisted and his seven orifices were bleeding, as if he had lost his sanity. Officer Tan. Chen Hu said to the man who was running away. Hurry up and let me go, I'll help you control him, otherwise he'll kill you. You shut up. Officer Tan shouted sternly. I won't let go of criminals. Officer Tan ran while speaking, but then realized something was wrong. There seems to be no one chasing behind him. He turned his head while running, only to see his insane companion walking towards Chen Hu, who couldn't escape. Just now, it was Chen Hu's voice that caught his attention. Not good. Xiao Wang, please wake up and don't hurt him. Officer Tan's pupils contracted and he quickly ran towards Chen Hu, but there was not enough time. Chen Hu looked at the madman approaching him, frantically trying to break free from handcuffs and escape. But to no avail. Ah! 
The madman let out a strange roar and opened his mouth to pounce on Chen Hu. Chapter 6 Soul Swine You are listening at NovelFull.audio At a critical moment, a cold light flashed on one side. Chen Hu saw the madman reaching out to his arm, and his successor fell weakly to the ground. Then three cold flashes flashed through, and all the remaining arms and legs of the madman were cut off, leaving only his upper body and head. The madman fell to the ground, feeling no pain at all. His upper body twisted strangely, biting into the air with his mouth open. Ah! Ah Ming! Chen Hu looked at Su Ming standing beside him with a sword in shock. Su Ming's face was filled with indifference, with a hint of joy in his eyes. Chen Hu felt that he was becoming increasingly unable to understand this. Xiao Wang Officer Tan stumbled over and hugged the madman's upper body, his eyes moist. It has been three years since they teamed up for the mission. They are like brothers. Now he is filled with grief when he sees his younger brother being cut into swine. Bastard! What are you doing? Officer Tan took out his pistol from his waist and aimed it at Su Ming. Is that you? Tan Jingyi. Su Ming saw Officer Tan's face clearly, and a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes. One of the seventy-two earthly demons, the kind-hearted Tan Jingyi, shouldn't he have grown up at the Public Security Bureau at this time? How could he have appeared in this place? Su Ming frowned. In his previous life, Tan Jingyi acted very methodically and never oppressed ordinary people. He had a good reputation, and although he was stabbed by many subordinates, he still persevered and was among the strong. Although Su Ming does not agree with his philosophy, he still has some respect for this person, as there are not many people who can maintain a bottom line and adhere to it in the new world. How do you know my name? Tan Jingyi looked at the stranger in front of him for a moment. He was about to say something when a sharp pain came from his chest. Ah! Tan Jingyi pushed away the madman in his arms. But I saw the madman chewing a piece of meat with blood in his mouth. Tan Jingyi looked at his chest, where a madman had bitten a flesh pit and blood was oozing out. Xiao Wang. Why, he lost his voice. He's dead, Su Ming said softly. What are you saying? Tan Jingyi reluctantly turned his head to look at him. The hand holding the gun remained steady, with the muzzle aimed at Su Ming's shoulder. As a sheriff, he always remembers the teachings of the academy. The main focus in action is to make criminals lose their mobility and not to kill. Su Ming ignored the dark muzzle and whispered, the world is changing, and disasters like earthquakes are only one aspect. The biggest threat is the revival of spiritual energy. Over 90% of people around the world will be poisoned by spiritual energy and become unconscious and defective products. Your friend seems to be still alive, but in fact, he is a vegetative person with the ability to act and only know how to attack indiscriminately. Spiritual Energy Global What nonsense are you talking about? Tan Jingyi refused to believe it and cursed fiercely. Don't believe it. Su Ming snorted coldly. You're feeling a surge of blood and energy all over your body, and your consciousness is blurry now. Upon hearing this, Tan Jingyi realized that he was completely powerless and his mind was drowsy. He shook his head, but his dizziness did not improve. Pop! Su Ming took the opportunity to quickly step forward and kick Tan Jingyi's pistol away with one kick, while also kicking Tan Jingyi down with another kick. After several blows, Tan Jingyi, who couldn't catch his breath, rolled his eyes and fainted. Su Ming put away the pistol and then searched for the key to release Chen Hu. What happened? How could you be with Tan Jingyi? asked Su Ming. They came after us, and I was caught by them. Then that person went crazy, and you know what happened afterwards. Chen Hu looked at Su Ming with complexity. Chasing us. Su Ming was momentarily taken aback and then thought to himself. It should have been the school that reported to the police that Tan Jingyi came over. 
It seems that it was my rebirth that caused Tan Jingyi's behavior to deviate from its original trajectory, he thought to himself. What's going on with him? Chen Hu pointed to the madman and asked. He thought Su Ming's recent words were to deceive Tan Jingyi and seize the opportunity to take his gun. I'm not lying to you. What I just said is true. You and Tan Jingyi can maintain rationality because your physical talent is adapted to spiritual energy, so spiritual energy is less toxic to you and can help you improve your physical fitness. What do you mean? Chen Hu's face turned ugly. Yes, this is a global disaster, no one is exception, Su Ming snorted coldly, completely shattering Chen Hu's sense of luck. I understand. Chen Hu struggled to swallow a mouthful of saliva. What about Yan Xiaoyun? Let's go save her quickly. Chen Hu's face changed and he remembered Su Ming's true love. When Su Ming heard the name, there was no hint of anxiety on his face, but a strange smile appeared. No need, I have my own use for her. Looking at Su Ming's expression, Chen Hu instinctively felt afraid, so he quickly changed the topic. Why did you break the limbs of that lunatic? Chen Hu pointed at the lunatic and couldn't bear to say. Summing didn't explain, but walked up to the madman with his sword. A sword pierced into his mouth, then shattered his teeth and tongue, and finally stabbed his throat, damaging his vocal cords. The madman twisted incessantly, but could not make a sound and had no attacking power. What are you? Chen Hu looked at the scene in shock. I don't understand why Su Ming tormented a useless person like this. This is called Ling Swine. Su Ming said. ZhaoZhuyuan.com, after the revival of spiritual energy, these defective products only have one effect, and you will understand in the future. Carry him on your back, let's go. Su Ming sheathed his sword and turned away. Where are we going? Drive back to the school, which is the nearest ruins cave and has enough people and resources to help me cultivate and form a force. Shortly after the two left, Tan Zhengyi slowly woke up. Cough, he looked around and remembered what had just happened. What about people? Xiao Wang, he shouted loudly, but there was nothing else here except for a police car. What a big pool of blood. Tan Zhengyi's pupils narrowed and he quickly stepped forward to check. But there were many pieces of flesh in the bloodstains, including items such as teeth. Judging from its smooth and even incision, it is naturally caused by sharp tools. Xiao Wang Tan Jingyi picked up a handful of minced meat, his eyes moist. He didn't understand how catching just a troublemaker could lead to this end. He remembered the sword that Su Ming was carrying. He killed you. It's all my fault, it's my weakness, because his nonsense shook me. Criminals deserve to die. My shot should have hit him directly in the forehead. Xiao Wang, don't worry, even if he pays more, I will definitely make him pay the price. Yes, go back to the security bureau first and issue a wanted notice. He can't run away. At this moment, Tan Jingyi still thought that the world had not changed. He got into the police car and raced towards the direction of the police station. Tan Jingyi eventually returned to the public security bureau, where he made his fortune, but his personality changed and his goals were completely different. Chapter 7 Haran Gong You are listening at NovelFull.audio Su Ming is driving in the wilderness. In the passenger seat, Chen Hu looked curiously at the jade plaque in his hand. Amin, do you say that the jade plaque records martial arts? But what do you think of that? Abandoning objects and concentrating on the jade plaque, you can sense the cultivation technique, said Su Ming. Chen Hu nodded slightly upon hearing the words, and then his spirit immersed itself in the jade plaque. To outsiders, Chen Hu seemed to be asleep at this moment, with a calm expression. Su Ming noticed this and his mouth curved slightly. Undoubtedly, Chen Hu has extremely high talent. Ordinary people need to explore for a long time to enter this state, and he doesn't need a second. He sighed slightly as he spoke, recalling his previous life. 
If it weren't for an accident that killed Chen Hu early on, with his talent, he would at least be able to rank among the 36 heavenly gang. In just a few seconds, Chen Hu regained his senses. How amazing! His face was filled with joy. Although I couldn't understand those words, they were printed directly into my mind, and I immediately understood the meaning. This is the wonderful use of divine sense. Characterizing techniques and facilitating inheritance is just one aspect. When you enter the foundation building period and have divine sense, you will understand. Su Ming smiled. However, the current concentration of spiritual energy allows people to cultivate up to the ninth level of the refining stage. To advance to the foundation building stage, one needs to wait until the second level of the world changes dramatically. Chen Hu nodded slightly upon hearing this, then his face darkened and he stole a glance at Su Ming, with a hint of confusion and fear in his eyes. Amin, why do you know so much? Upon hearing these words, Su Ming was taken aback and then whispered, I understand what you mean. Don't worry, I'm still myself, but there are some things I can't say too much about. Upon hearing this, Chen Hu did not deepen his doubts. Instead, he took a deep breath and then a relaxed smile bloomed on his face. If you say that, I'll rest assured. Everyone has secrets, and I won't force you. I won't delve into the root cause anymore. I'll do whatever you say. To be honest, I was always worried before because you have changed so much from before. If you don't tell me, I thought you were taken away by some old monster, huh? Chen Hu smiled happily, while Su Ming smiled slightly and didn't say much. At night, the two parked in a wilderness. At this time, the weather is still relatively cold at night. Chen Hu wanted to start a fire to dispel the chill, but was stopped by Su Ming. Although this is a wilderness, safety comes first as no one is allowed to pass by. Tonight, the two of us take turns guarding the night. I'll stay up late and you'll stay up late. Chen Hu nodded at the words and simply ate some canned meat before falling asleep. Su Ming took out a jade bottle, looked at the remaining half bottle of spiritual liquid, and without hesitation, swallowed a drop and began to refine. An hour has passed and all the spiritual liquid has been consumed. And Su Ming's orifices were opened up 1.5. Although it has not been fully opened yet, there has been some feedback from the orifices, and the physique has further strengthened compared to the cliff at that time. This is also the benefit of cultivating the physical body, no effort, no gain. To fully open the first acupoint, at least four bottles of spiritual liquid are needed. Such a large consumption also affects my plan to cultivate Haran Gong. Before obtaining the inheritance of Pangu, Su Ming's first choice was Haran Gong. This cultivation method is recognized as the strongest during the Qi refining period in the previous life. Both the volume and strength of true Qi far exceed those of the same level. The only drawback is the speed of promotion. Because the resources required for cultivation are several times higher than other cultivation methods. So even though, Haran Gong, is widely recognized as the strongest cultivation method during the Qi refining period, everyone says that even if it is a new attempt, they are not willing to practice such delaying techniques. After all, it is only the refining period, and it is not worth spending too much energy. Even the strongest refining period cannot withstand an ordinary foundation building period. Against the backdrop of world upheaval and explosive increase in spiritual energy concentration, people's realms are constantly changing, and it is unwise to stay in the refining period for a long time. For ordinary people, it is a pity to discard the tasteless food in Haran Gong. But it's different for Su Ming. He, who has memories from his previous life, has already seized the opportunity, and the strongest is his goal. The strongest path is to cultivate both qi and flesh. I want to cultivate Pangu Xian Gong, and I cannot let go of Haran Gong. But nowadays, the concentration of spiritual energy is low and there is no spiritual liquid. The cultivation speed is already extremely low, and we also need to cultivate two of the slowest martial arts. We must accelerate our pace. 
Su Ming Chang breathed a sigh of relief and ended his cultivation of Pangu Xian Gong. He turned his head to look at the trunk of the car, with an inexplicable meaning in his eyes. Nothing happened overnight. The next day, just as it was dawn, the two of them drove on. In the evening, the two of them saw human architecture from a distance. A lonely building stands in the wilderness. There are no signs of human activity around. Su Ming stopped the car and looked at the distant building. Is it because of the great changes in the world and the expansion of the Earth's surface that this building appears here alone? Chen Hu asked in confusion. This building is also quite lucky. It didn't split or collapse, only the glass and the like were shattered by the earthquake, Su Ming nodded and said with a smile in his eyes. The memory of the previous life is not wrong, and this is indeed a great harvesting site. We stopped for supplies. Chen Hu glanced at the full supplies on the back seat and realized it was not. Suming remained silent, carrying a long sword and walking towards the building. Chen Hu felt a chill in his heart upon seeing this, knowing that he should fight, so he took out his pistol and followed suit. ZhaoZhuyuan.com The two of them approached and looked at the building. This is a six-story old residential building, which has been well preserved except for things like glass and aluminum frames that have been shaken open. There is a bloody smell. Chen Hu's stomach involuntarily rolled when he smelled a strong odor. Shu, Su Ming made a gesture of silence and stillness. Chen Hu quickly covered his mouth and nose. Later, Su Ming drew his long sword and cautiously swam around the residential building. Then he pulled Chen Hu away with a solemn expression and didn't speak until he was next to the car. This residential building is very dangerous, which is beyond my expectation. Just because I saw a dozen Lingnan Eniba wandering on the first floor, it is reasonable to say that this old community will not live so many people. Chen Hu's face was pale. He had just vaguely seen a few broken limbs and arms, coupled with the strong smell of blood, which made him very uncomfortable at the moment. Then. Let's take a detour, Chen Hu immediately said. His mentality has not yet changed, and he still has lingering fear for those bloody scenes. Let's go. Su Ming sneered on his face. There will be plenty of such things in the future. You'd better get used to them as soon as possible. In addition, I'm in urgent need of spiritual swine now. How can I let go of those who come here? But there are a dozen swine spirits on the first floor. How can we fight each other? Chen Hu glanced at the trunk and said doubtfully. Su Ming goes forward and opens the trunk. Inside, a spirit. It is Tan Jingyi's companion. Su Ming cuts a piece of Ling Swine's meat with a sword. At the same time, he said. Although the spirit swine is violent and full of desire to kill, his eyesight is low, and only his sense of smell and hearing are barely normal. This is our opportunity. Chapter 8 Gathering Spirit Formation you are listening at NovelFull.Audio. The two of them wrapped the meat pieces and went downstairs again to the residence. After careful inspection, a resident on the first floor was selected. There is only one sole swine in the household. It seems to have no attack target, it's like a polio patient pacing aimlessly in the living room. At its feet, there were fragments and debris all over the ground, as well as two flesh and blood blurred corpses. At this moment, the blood had dried up. Ling Swine is not interested in such dead things that cannot move. Suddenly, a piece of flesh and blood was thrown in outside the window, wrapped in a rope. Pada, blood and flesh fell to the ground, making a sound. Ling Swine's head was tilted, he noticed the abnormality, and immediately rushed to the flesh and blood. At this time, the rope suddenly pulled back, making the spirit swine pounce empty. Ling Swine got up and continued to rush. And the rope pulled the flesh and blood and flew out of the window. The spirit swine has no ability to think, and follows the flesh and blood to rush out. At this time, Su Ming came with a sword, and a cold light flashed, stabbing the spirit swine in the throat, destroying its vocal cords. 
At the same time, Chen Hu flew from the side and pressed Ling Swine down to the ground, pressing him under his body. Su Ming swung the long sword at the right time to cut down Ling Swine's limbs accurately. Chen Hu then saw clearly Ling Swine's face, which was a middle dot aged man. Looking at the two corpses inside the house, his face showed a complex expression. Su Ming patted him and turned towards the next resident window. Chen Hu Chang breathed a sigh of relief, his face became resolute, and he followed suit. Next, the two men did the same thing and quickly captured all the spiritual swine in the residence on the first floor without stirring up. Seeing that it was already late, the two men stopped moving and carried Ling Swine back to the car. Plus this, it's just twelve-headed spirit swine. Su Ming drags Ling Swine out of the trunk and throws him on the ground. Looking at the different faces, there are male and female twelve-headed spirit swine, Chen Hu asked. Amin, what's the use of spirit swine? Ling Swine is a defective product poisoned by the aura. It is unconscious and has a desire to kill all living creatures. Su Ming explained and stuck swine on the ground. Although they are monsters, one thing cannot be ignored is that they also have spiritual energy inside their bodies. Su Ming pokes his long sword into the body of Ling Swine, and then draws some strange symbols on the ground with the blood-stained sword tip. Do you mean to use their spiritual energy to cultivate? Chen Hu's mind flashed with a surprise as he said. Su Ming smiled slightly and said, that's right. The number of relics and caves is still too small. Without spirit liquid, the cultivation speed will be extremely slow, so spirit swine is a substitute. As he spoke, he inserted the last spirit swine into the ground. The twelve-headed spirit swine, together with the pattern drawn with blood on the ground, formed a strange scene. How can we extract and cultivate the spiritual energy in their bodies? Chen Hu looked at the pattern and vaguely felt that his mind was a bit dazed. Su Ming walks to a spirit swine, and then throws his sword across his head with all his strength. At the same time, he opened his skull, revealing a white, sticky surface inside. The reason why Ling Swine is unconscious is that Reiki has gone the wrong way, washed out their brains and gathered in their heads. With a flick of his sword tip, Su Ming saw a transparent crystal the size of a soybean emerge in his brain. It's also because they lack conscious control and disregard life and death. Their spiritual energy concentration is higher than that of ordinary people, and as a result, they crystallize. This type of crystal is called spirit crystal. Ling Jing can be understood as a spiritual liquid filled with impurities. Although its cultivation effect is not as good as that of spiritual liquid, it is also much stronger in absorbing spiritual energy. Spiritual fluids and crystals are the guarantee of the speed of human cultivation in the new world. As Su Ming spoke, he cut off all the heads of the twelve swine spirits. Looking at the twelve spirit crystals the size of soybeans, Su Ming's face showed a regretful expression. Unfortunately, I'm in a hurry, otherwise these swine can absorb more aura and produce better aura. At this moment, Chen Hu asked again, what are you doing now when you put them on the ground and draw ghost symbols? Su Ming explained, make the most of everything. This is called the small gathering spirit formation. Originally, it was supposed to use magic tools as the eye of the formation, stimulate spirit crystals, and help with cultivation, but now conditions do not allow it. With the body and blood of the spirit swine containing the spirit, it can barely reach the conditions of array. Tonight, you protect me, I want to break through the realm. With a command from Su Ming, he sat cross-legged in the center of the formation. Chen Hu dared not look at the pattern anymore, shook his head, remained awake, and guarded outside the formation. Inside the formation, Su Ming uses his Xian Gong to activate the surrounding spiritual energy into his body. Therefore, the array was guided. It seemed that there was a flash of light flowing around, and then I saw the spirit crystal slowly turning in the head of the spirit swine. Waves of dim radiance flowed out from the spiritual crystal, following the trajectory of the formation, and finally seeped into Su Ming's body. 
they followed the path of the Xian Gong and converged into the acupoint at the heart. The orifice received an impact and slowly shook to open, while feedback was given to Su Ming's physical body. As time went on, Su Ming's face became more and more ruddy, while the size of Ling Jing in Ling Nanaba 244. At this moment, Su Ming's orifices were already 99% open, and he was only one step away from the door. He could find the Shuyuan website www.jiaozhuyuan.com to completely flush them open. But the Ling Jing is about to run out, and if the successors are powerless, it is very likely that all previous achievements will be abandoned. Feeling the impending opening of the orifices, Su Ming's face was slowly closing, with a furrowed brow and sweat all over it. No, if we keep going like this, when the spiritual crystal is depleted, the acupoints will definitely not be able to open. I won't be able to do it this time. I'm afraid I'll have to consume more next time. I don't have that many resources to waste. Su Ming gritted his teeth and his heart surged fiercely. He immediately stopped practicing, pulled out a long sword, cut a soul swine's chest, and pulled out its heart. Then, with a firm grip, blood flowed out and entered his mouth. No, these heartfelt efforts are not enough for me to turn blood into essence. Then he waved his sword and drank all the blood of the remaining spirit swine's heart. Chen Hu on the side had already noticed the abnormality, but without Su Ming's command, he dared not take action without authorization. He looked at Su Ming's terrifying face full of blood and fierce eyes, his expression becoming increasingly complex. Transforming blood into essence and spiritual energy into the body. Su Ming shouted. The next moment, I saw that the spiritual crystal was depleted and all of it returned to Su Ming's body. Su Ming lifted everything and rushed towards the acupoint. Unfortunately, although the orifices show signs of decline, they cannot be broken through in a short period of time. Although spiritual energy has a rapid momentum, it is consumed extremely quickly. Judging from the situation, it is still not enough to open the hole. So what about Pangu Xian Gong? It's just a hole and you want to stop me from dominating. Break it for me. Su Ming was furious and his essence and spirit unexpectedly merged under pressure. Carrying a surging spiritual energy, he advanced forward and made a final thrust towards his acupoint. Chapter 9 Gas Refining Level 1 You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. The seemingly resilient resistance of the orifices appears insignificant at this moment. Bo, there seemed to be a crisp sound coming from Su Ming's body. The first acupoint of Pangu Xian Gong was completely opened at this moment. The surging blood spurts out from the heart like a tide. Wave after wave, surging between the meridians, penetrating the entire body. I thought my spiritual energy was well prepared, but I couldn't get out with the last step. Now, thinking about it, I took the wrong path and only wanted to use my spiritual energy to impact, wasting a lot of spiritual crystals. Originally, in order to activate the acupoints of Pangu Xian Gong, it was necessary to integrate the essence, qi, and spirit and imprint them on the acupoints to complete it, which is known as the acupoint concealing the spirit. Dot. Su Ming looked inside at the acupoint and found a miniature image of himself inside, sitting cross legged. After finishing his cultivation, Su Ming stood up, clenched his fists, feeling his whole body full of strength. The power of the physical body can resist the qi refining period by one layer. He couldn't help but burst out laughing, finally not in vain. Aiming, did you break through? Chen Hu asked from the side. Hmm. Su Ming nodded. It's already dawn. Rest here and I'll go harvest the spirit crystal. After Su Ming finished speaking, he picked up his sword and headed straight for the residential building. Aiming, it's too dangerous. I'll go help you. Chen Hu said urgently. I have broken through, no need. Su Ming didn't turn his head and walked straight away. Chen Hu hesitated to speak again. When he remembered the scene of the two men carefully capturing Ling Swine, he was worried. But in the end, 
I still chose to believe that Su Ming was not a reckless person. Su Ming came to the residential building and drew his long sword. Ling Swine on the first floor has been cleaned up. He goes straight to the second floor. When he came to a residence door, he heard the sound of the spirit swine walking in the door. After the physical breakthrough, his five senses strengthened a lot. The spirit swine was unconscious and did not know how to cover up, so it was easy to catch its movement. Accumulate your right foot and kick directly at the door. Bang, the door was rudely smashed open, revealing a bloody scene inside. A spirit. Later, as soon as it was about to get up, it was stepped on in the chest and suppressed to the ground. Then Su Ming waved his long sword and cut off its head with one sword. The white flower's brain fluid overflowed, mixed with a transparent crystal the size of a soybean. MMM, the spirit swine sobbed and stopped moving. Su Ming picked up the spirit crystal with his sword tip, put it in his pocket, and turned around to leave. He could not stay here for too long, nor had enough space to take Ling Swine away, so he had to harvest Ling Jing in advance. Although it is a waste, it can also be considered a helpless move. Next, Su Ming repeated such outrageous operations, and soon harvested all the second layer of soul swine. For him who has broken through the power of the body, such low.end spirit swine can easily kill with no difficulty. However, manpower was sometimes exhausted. After harvesting the third layer of spiritual crystals, Su Ming felt exhausted and had to retreat first. 23 Spirit Crystals How did you do it? Chen who looked at the spiritual crystals on the ground in front of him and looked at Su Ming with a shocked expression. It's natural to know how difficult Ling Swine is to deal with him. But today only Su Ming fought against Ling Swine, and he gained more than twice as much as yesterday. Harvesting Ling Jing, is it so simple? Chen who couldn't help but wonder in his heart. Su Ming didn't answer, so he simply dealt with the blood stains on his body and started eating big meals to replenish energy. I didn't stop until I finished three servings of food. You buried those spirit swine. Su Ming looked at Chen Hu and said. I, after all, they were once humans, and death is greater than death. Chen Hu dared not look into Su Ming's eyes. He was afraid that Su Ming would be dissatisfied with it. Mm, Su Ming responded softly, but didn't say much. He was well aware of Chen Hu's personality, and it was precisely because of the other person's personality that he was able to pull up a large team in the previous life. This is also why Su Ming took Chen Hu with him. He needs talents like Chen Hu to manage his power and provide resources for himself. The key is that Chen Hu has enough loyalty and will not betray him temporarily. After Su Ming is promoted to the foundation building period and uses secret methods to control Chen Hu, there will be no worries in the future. You can cultivate with three spirit crystals, which is enough for you to advance to one level of qi refining stage. Su Ming pushed three spirit crystals to Chen Hu, while he took the remaining twenty. His physical body has already been promoted, and he is going to break through the process of refining qi by practicing Haran Gong. At night, under the guidance of Su Ming, Chen Hu quickly rose to the first level of the qi refining stage. What a wonderful feeling, is this the period of qi refining? Is it so easy to get promoted? Chen Hu looked at himself in surprise. There seems to be a continuous flow of breath within the body, and the originally dull feeling disappears, replaced by a refreshing and refreshing feeling. You will gradually understand the mystery behind it and protect me first. Su Ming interrupted Chen Hu's imagination. Okay, then Su Ming sat cross-legged and began practicing. I have a trace of Haran Qi in my body, and all kinds of demons and demons avoid me. Su Ming absorbed the spiritual crystal while operating the Haran Gong according to his memory. Unlike Pang the Xian Gong, this technique has already been thoroughly researched and memorized by Su Ming. So there won't be any accidents. As time passed, the spiritual crystals continued to deplete, and Su Ming also officially operated for a week. 
Wisps of Haran True Chi wander through the meridians, searching for Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com and finally merging into the Dantian, forming an elliptical mist. Compared to the difficulty of breaking through the orifices, the practice of Qi breakthrough appears extremely calm. Summing, officially promoted to the first level of gas refining. Who, after finishing his cultivation, Su Mingchang breathed a sigh of relief and stood up. The spiritual crystal in his hand turned into flying ash. As expected, I was promoted to the first level of Qi refining, consuming twelve spirit crystals, similar to the first orifice of Pangu Xiangong. In terms of spiritual energy content alone, one bottle of spiritual liquid can roughly match the effect of two spiritual crystals. Breaking through one orifice costs one bottle of spiritual liquid and twelve spiritual crystals. Except for the lack of tricks and wasted spiritual crystals, the consumption of the two cultivation methods is not much different. This also shows the extraordinary nature of Haran Gong. Ah Ming, have you also broken through? Chen Hu excitedly approached. One is to excite companions to break through, and the other is to excite both of them standing on the same starting line at this moment, both in the first stage of qi refining. But the next moment, Su Ming shattered his illusions. Remove the sheath. Su Ming used Haran Gong and his fingers merged into sword fingers. With a sudden shout, the long sword beside him trembled and flew out of its sheath into the air. Haran Sword Su Ming let out a long roar, pointed forward, and the long sword rushed away like an arrow opening a bow. By advancing to the stage of refining qi, many spells can be used, and in the future, there will be only a glimmer of self.protection, Su Ming thought to himself. Chen Hu on the side was stunned as he watched the scene. Ah! Ah Ming, what kind of divine means is this? Can I do the same? He thought that with the same refining stage, the difference should not be significant. This is a type of imperial swordsmanship. You don't have enough true energy at this time to achieve it, but you can do it in the future, Su Ming replied casually. Oh! Chapter 10 Encounter You are listening at NovelFull.audio After they broke through, it was even easier to deal with the lower spirit swine. Soon, all the wandering spirit swine on the remaining floors will be eliminated. However, the number of spiritual swine is not much above the high level. As for the living, I haven't seen any of them. It seems normal. In such a doomsday background, ordinary people have no means to fight against spirit swine even if they have not become spirit swine. Finally, the two of them left the residential building with almost thirty spirit crystals. Three days later, the two finally left the wilderness and entered the outskirts of the city covered in ruins and debris. Su Ming parked his car in the ruins, packed food and water, and then abandoned the car to leave. Aiming, there should still be a considerable distance from here to the school, right? Don't you need a car anymore? Chen Hu asked. When you enter the urban area, the population density is too high, so the possibility of swine gathering is also higher. Although you have broken through the second level of the gas refining Su Ming explained. The spiritual crystals harvested were not enough to elevate Su Ming's realm, so Chen Hu absorbed ten pieces, and as a result, he was promoted to the second level of qi cultivation. In the past few days, Su Ming has also taught him some practical small techniques and a set of swordsmanship, which has greatly improved Chen Hu's strength. Eh. Didn't you say that Ling Swine just didn't attack the dead? They wouldn't attack each other. Chen Hu asked doubtfully. Do you think Ling Swine is a living thing? Su Ming's words left Chen Hu speechless. So let's go back to school directly. Chen Hu put on his backpack and chased after Su Ming. No, take your sword first. They walked for half a day, avoiding several groups of spirit swine on the way, and finally arrived at a collapsed house. Eh. Wang Jia fried skewers, do you remember, Ah Ming? We used to come here to eat, and the taste was so good. It's just a few blocks away from the school, not far. 
Chen who looked at the dilapidated sign and unconsciously smacked his mouth, his face lit up with joy. Su Ming nodded and remembered what Chen who had told him in the previous life. At that time, the school's influence was controlled by Lu Qinlin. He was the first person to discover the school ruins and cave, and naturally took the lead in embarking on the path of cultivation. And as the president of the student union, he has a considerable reputation and trust in the hearts of students, making it very convenient to organize personnel. The most coincidental thing is that the world changes happen to be on a day off, and most teachers are not in school. Combining various factors, Lu Qinglin easily gained control of the school's influence. Chen Hu is also his subordinate. At that time, Chen Hu was just an ordinary person, but due to his relationship with Su Ming, he received special treatment from Lu Qinglin. Unable to bear it, he hid in his favorite Wang Jie's explosive skewers during a mission, trying to avoid school influence. But a ruins cave was discovered here, so the strategy changed. He returned to school, enduring Lu Qinglin's exploitation while secretly developing and contacting many people who despised Lu Qinglin's dictatorship. Finally, one day, Lu Qinglin joined forces with everyone to overthrow him, and he seized control of the school's power. There is a hidden ruins cave in the store, and your sword is inside. Su Ming pointed to the ruins and said. My matching sword. Is it as sharp as your sword? Chen Hui moved. The sharpness is comparable, but your sword pairing is crucial as there are clues about magical tools on it. Su Ming whispered. Chen Hu's eyes sparkled upon hearing these words. Su Ming had already told him about the issue of object level, and the magical tool was a treasure used by practitioners during the foundation period. Let's go. Go get my matching sword. Chen Hu said impatiently. But he didn't take two steps before he was stopped by Su Ming. Wait a moment, hide it. Someone's coming over. After Su Ming pulled him into the ruins, his eyebrows furrowed slightly. Chen Hu didn't know why, but it wasn't until a moment later when a figure approached that he finally understood. At the same time, he expressed admiration for Su Ming's non-human senses. Oh, it's our classmate, that chubby guy Wang Exian. Chen Hu saw the person's face clearly and whispered softly. Why did he come here? I saw Wang Exian with a bruised nose and swollen face, stumbling along. When I found the well-preserved Wang Jie's fried skewer shop, I couldn't help but be pleasantly surprised. Great. Then he quickly ran into the ruins. It's broken, my sword accessory. Chen Hu remembered Su Ming's words. There was a relic cave hidden in the shop, along with his own sword. Thinking of this, Chen Hu felt a bit impatient, but was stopped by Su Ming. It's not that easy to enter inside, Su Ming said with a slight curl in his mouth. However, for a moment, a pig-like cry sounded, and then Wang Xian ran out in a panic. Help! Help! Wang Xian was running and howling, his fat body swaying in all directions, which was very comical. Behind him, a spirit swine roared and chased him closely. Chen Hu recognizes Ling Swine, the owner of the fried string shop. She, who used to be charming, is now covered in blood and has a twisted face, very ugly. Huzi, go save Wang Exian. Su Ming handed the long sword to Chen Hu. Although Chen Hu didn't know why Su Ming didn't attack him, he didn't hesitate to take the long sword and went straight to Ling Swine. When Ling Swine fell down on Wang, then Chen Hu stepped on Ling Swine's back and pressed his upper body against Wang Exian. Ling Swine shakes a few times, and never moves again. Go to the bookstore www.jiaoshuyuan.com The hot brain fluid from the head flowed down and drenched Wang Exian's face. Yo ho, isn't this a fat man? Chen Hu stepped on Ling Swine, looked at Wang Exian, and said with a smile. Wang Exian was as foolish as a fool, reaching out to touch the warm brain on his face, and then looking at the empty shell head with empty brain on his body, he suddenly chuckled twice. Hee hee, Chen Hu, hee hee, then he rolled his eyes and passed out. 
Are you so timid? Chen Hu patted Wang Xian's cheek with his sword, but there was no sign of him waking up. Hu Zi, go in and get your matching sword, Su Ming walked over and said. Okay. Chen Hu excitedly ran into the ruins. After a moment, holding a long sword, he ran out happily. Amin, I have received the sword accessory. There is also a bottle of spiritual liquid and a jade plaque in the cave, all of which are here. Chen Hu handed something to Su Ming, but it was rejected. You keep the things first, wake up Wang Xian first. I have something to ask him, said Su Ming. Okay. Chen Hu looked at Wang Xian who was in a coma, smiled, and then moved Ling Swine away and sat astride him. This chubby guy, I've always wanted to do this. As he spoke, he raised his right hand, swung it round, and slapped Wang Xian in the face. Pop! After the crisp sound, a bright red palm print appeared on Wang Xian's face. Yo ho! You're not awake yet. Chen Hu was taken aback for a moment, and then he slapped him several times. Wang Xian's already obese face is now swollen and unable to see his eyes. But he finally woke up. Hmm. Where am I? Wang Xian woke up leisurely and saw Chen Hu riding on him, recalling what had happened earlier.